So wait, now Vegan Gains is part of the alt-right? This is a word. This is a word. Hey y'all, thanks for checking in on the vlog. So I'm gonna talk about a couple of things here, one of them being this whole vegan gains alt-right, but first I wanna talk about some things that I think are probably a little bit more important than that. So Noam Chomsky has some harsh words for Republicans in his recent interview with Amy Goodman of Democracy Now! He calls them the most dangerous organization in the world. Certainly anybody who's been following the news knows that they've been dismantling agencies like the Environmental Protection Agency, the Labor Department, the Food and Drug Administration. According to Noam Chomsky, our current administration is openly advocating for the destruction of the human race. Check out the interview. I'll leave a link in the description box below. I also think a privileged vegan's video on Syria is a must watch. This ongoing military posturing from the White House, there seems to be agreement that it is pretty much that posturing and a way for Trump to raise his approval rating. And that seems to be working, except for the fact it seems people don't realize that what's at stake is nuclear war. I hope Trump can manage to keep his head in the game and his ego out of it. So speaking of egos, now there are two videos that have been released recently talking about vegan gains and his connection to the alt-right. You guys may remember weeks ago when I made my initial video about vegan gains, I mentioned the fact that he might be aligning himself with white nationalists, which he flat out denied. And of course, I took him at his word. In fact, I later apologized for making that claim, saying that it was based on things that I had heard. Later, someone sent me a link to an interview that Vegan Gains did with Tara McCarthy. I included a clip from that video in my Vegan Gains video, Toxic Masculinity. So with all of the criticism that I've been getting from Vegan Gains supporters about criticizing him, none of them seem interested in the fact that he has been closely associating with white supremacist. And I'm not generally one to call people racist and white supremacist. I also find it interesting and a bit hypocritical that when Isla Mazard makes a video calling Vegan Gains out for making a video with Tara McCarthy, and then Vegan Cheetah makes a video further calling Vegan Gains out for basically being a white supremacist, no one seems to give a shit. I'm just saying y'all, that's a little bit of a double standard. Anyway, I'm waiting for the video from Vegan Gaines explaining why he made nearly an hour long video with Tara McCarthy where he continued to trash Islam and trash Black Lives Matter, but not at all call Tara and her husband, Corey, for their white supremacist rhetoric. So what's up with that? So anyway, I don't find it necessary to make a follow-up video about Vegan Gaines and his connection to the alt-right. Just watch Isla Mazar's video. That's Sabala Ciel, in case you didn't know. Or if you're a Vegan Cheetah fan, check out his video. So I'm gonna end this video on a great note. News has it that hundreds of thousands of people showed up for the March for Science. April 22nd was the March for Science, and I believe marches were held all over the world. This coming Saturday is the People's Climate March. Check in your area to see if there's gonna be a march near you. Regardless of all those things that we can't agree on, I think that we can agree that protecting the planet is crucial. It's like A number one. It's important for humans. It's important for the animals. It's important for pretty much everything. So again, if you're free on Saturday and if you haven't already planned to attend a People's Climate March in your area, they're having them all over the world. Get yourself to one. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourself. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto. Big guns and